The DJI Mini 5 Pro is finally here. The most powerful drone you can fly without a license in most regions. But here's the catch. Is it really worth upgrading from the Mini 4 Pro? And why isn't it even available in the United States? In this video, we're breaking down everything you need to know about the DJI Mini 5 Pro. From its brand new camera system, upgraded optical avoidance with LiDAR, and longer battery life to the controversial reasons why some pilots may never get to fly it. And stick around because later, we'll also compare it directly with the Mini 4 Pro to see if this upgrade is truly groundbreaking or just a small step forward. Let's get into it. Let's start with the design. At first glance, the Mini 4 Pro and Mini 5 Pro look almost identical both ultralight, both carrying the C0 label in Europe, meaning you can fly them without extra certifications or heavy restrictions. But look closer and the differences stand out. The Mini 5 Pro is slightly larger, mainly because of its new front module, housing the powerful 1-inch camera sensor and the new LiDAR obstacle detection system. It also comes in a slightly darker shade compared to the Mini 4 Pro, giving it a more premium professional look. From every other angle though, the two drones share the same foldable, portable design that made the Mini series so popular. So yes, the Mini 5 Pro is still compact and travel friendly, but it's definitely beefed up with more advanced hardware under the hood. One of the biggest upgrades DJI made with the Mini 5 Pro is its camera. The difference is immediately noticeable when you compare it to the Mini 4 Pro. The Mini 5 Pro comes with a brand new 1 inch sensor, significantly larger than the Mini 4 Pro's 1 and 1.3 inch sensor. That extra size means better low light performance, cleaner images, and more detail, especially during sunrises, sunsets, or nighttime flights. Dynamic range also takes a huge step forward. The Mini 5 Pro offers up to 14 stops of dynamic range, making highlights and shadows look much more natural in tricky lighting conditions. And when it comes to video, the upgrades continue. You're looking at 40K 60 frames per second HDR recording, 10-bit D-Log M and HLG support, and even slow motion up to 4K 120 frames per second. By comparison, the Mini 4 Pro maxed out at 4K 100 frames per second. Still photography also gets a boost. The Mini 5 Pro can capture 50 megapixel photos using quad bayer technology with noticeably more clarity and landscape shots. And for creative shooters, the gimbal now rotates 220 degrees, opening up unique perspectives and making intelligent flight modes like quick shots and waypoints even more versatile. In short, the Mini 5 Pro's camera isn't just a small step up. It's a real leap forward, especially for low light HDR and cinematic shooting. Of course, a powerful camera is only useful if the drone can stand the air long enough. So how does the Mini 5 Pro perform when it comes to flight time? With the standard battery, flight time has increased slightly, from 34 minutes on the Mini 4 Pro to 36 minutes on the Mini 5 Pro. On paper, that looks like an improvement, but in real world flying, you're more likely to see around 25 to 30 minutes in both drones. The real game changer is the Plus battery. On the Mini 5 Pro, it's rated for up to 51 minutes of flight. That's a massive upgrade, but there's a catch. With the Plus battery, the drone's weight goes over 250 grams, which means stricter regulations in many regions, especially Europe. And here's another detail to keep in mind. The batteries are not interchangeable between the Mini 4 Pro and Mini 5 Pro. A Mini 4 battery will fit and even power the Mini 5, but DJI does not recommend it. It hasn't been fully tested and could lead to unpredictable issues. So in short, flight time is solid, but not a huge leap forward unless you're able to use the Plus battery. For everyday use, expect about a half an hour of reliable flying time before needing to recharge. A drone is only as good as its connection, and here, the Mini 5 Pro takes a clear step up. The Mini 4 Pro came with DJI's 04 transmission system, which was already strong and reliable, but the Mini 5 Pro introduces 04 Plus, boosting stability and offering a maximum range of up to 30 kilometers in FCC regions, or around 15 kilometers in Europe and other CE zones. In practical terms, you'll rarely hit these maximum distances, but the upgrade means stronger signal penetration, smoother live feeds, and fewer dropouts when flying in challenging environments like cities with heavy interference. Tracking also gets a major upgrade. The Mini 5 Pro adds a front-facing LiDAR sensor, making it far more reliable when flying in low-light conditions. 
Combine that with improved active track algorithms, and the drone can follow subjects with much more precision, even predicting movement for smoother footage. There's even a dedicated cycling mode, letting the drone keep up with faster subjects while maintaining stable, cinematic tracking shots. Compared to the Mini 4 Pro, the difference is clear. Tracking feels smarter, smoother, and more reliable. A welcome upgrade for creators who rely on autonomous shots. Beyond the big ticket upgrades, the Mini 5 Pro brings a handful of smart features that make flying more enjoyable and more creative. First, the gimbal. It can now rotate up to 220 degrees on the horizontal axis, opening up unique perspectives for shots and unlocking more possibilities in modes like quick shots and waypoints. There's also a new 48mm medium telephoto mode. It's not a true second lens, but it simulates a tighter field of view, giving you more flexibility for composing shots, similar to DJI's higher-end drones like the Air 3 and Mavic 4 Pro. Practical upgrades include 42GB of built-in storage, Wi-Fi 6 for much faster file transfers, and even off-state USB-C transfer. That means you can copy footage without having to power on the drone. The propellers are now easier to swap out, no tools required. Just push, twist, and you're ready to fly again. And a small but clever touch, the Mini 5 Pro can power on when you unfold it and shut down when you fold it back in. It even gives a little voice confirmation when powering off. Lastly, the Mini 5 Pro inherits one of the best features from DJI's larger drones, Dynamic Home Point. Perfect for moving vehicles or boats, the drone automatically updates the return point so it always knows where to come back even if you're on the move. These small touches may not grab headlines, but together, they make the Mini 5 Pro one of the most convenient drones DJI has ever made. As impressive as the Mini 5 Pro is, it's not without its limitations, and depending on your needs, these could be deal breakers. First, the fixed f1.8 aperture. While it helps in low light, it can be challenging in very bright conditions, especially when flying without ND filters. Highlights can blow out, leaving less flexibility in certain scenarios. Another factor is size. At just under 250 grams, the Mini 5 Pro is still a lightweight drone. That makes it more prone to being tossed around in strong winds compared to DJI's larger, heavier models. Then there's battery compatibility. Mini 4 Pro batteries do technically fit in the Mini 5 Pro, but DJI doesn't recommend it. They haven't been fully tested, and using them could result in unstable flight or even damage. And while the Mini 5 Pro boasts a 50 megapixel camera, the jump from 48 megapixels on the Mini 4 Pro isn't dramatic. The real difference lies in the larger 1 inch sensor and dynamic range, not just the pixel count. For photographers, there are still some software frustrations. For example, auto exposure bracketing now supports 7 shot sequences, but the exposure increments are locked at 0.7 EV. That means less flexibility if you want wider brackets. Plus, capturing brackets can feel slow, likely due to background processing. All these things don't necessarily make the Mini 5 Pro a bad drone, far from it. But they do highlight that it isn't the perfect choice for everyone. Here's where things get interesting, and a little frustrating. The DJI Mini 5 Pro is available in most regions worldwide, but not in the United States. Why? It isn't because the drone falls short on performance, it's because of politics and regulation. The US government has ongoing concerns about DJI's ties to China, citing national security risks and even potential links to forced labor supply chains. While DJI strongly denies these claims, the brand is under heavy scrutiny. In fact, there are cases of DJI drones being held for months by US Customs. Legislation is also in play. The 2025 National Defense Authorization Act includes a requirement for a full security audit of DJI drones. If the results are unfavorable, DJI products could end up on the FCC's covered list, essentially banning their sale in the US. Meanwhile, in Europe and other markets, the Mini 5 Pro is already flying off the shelves. For creators and professionals outside the US, this drone is setting a new standard in the sub 250G category. So while the Mini 5 Pro looks like one of the most advanced lightweight drones ever made, American drone enthusiasts may have to wait or import one at a premium to get their hands on it. So, should you upgrade to the Mini 5 Pro or stick with the Mini 4 Pro? The answer really depends on what kind of pilot you are and what you value most in a drone. The Mini 5 Pro makes the most sense if you want the absolute best image quality in the sub 250G category. Its 1 inch sensor, wider dynamic range, and LiDAR assisted safety give it a real edge, especially in low light and during golden hour flights. For creators who film action, whether it's cycling, running, or vehicles, 
the smarter Active Track system delivers noticeably smoother and more reliable results. Add in features like the rotating gimbal, built in storage, and longer flight times with the Plus battery, and it's clear this drone is designed for those who want the cutting edge. That said, the Mini 4 Pro is still an excellent option, and not one to dismiss lightly. In bright daylight conditions, the difference in image quality isn't nearly as dramatic, meaning casual pilots might not see a huge upgrade in their footage. If you don't rely much on advanced tracking or low light performance, the Mini 4 Pro continues to deliver sharp, reliable results without requiring the extra investment. For many, it remains more than capable of handling everyday flights and aerial photography. Ultimately, the DJI Mini 5 Pro is the most advanced sub 250G drone to date, but whether it's worth the upgrade depends entirely on your needs. For creators pushing boundaries and seeking the best possible quality, it's a no-brainer. For those already happy with the Mini 4 Pro, the upgrade isn't essential, and your money might be better spent investing in storytelling, accessories, or even saving for a larger drone down the road. And that's the story of DJI's Mini 5 Pro. The most powerful sub 250G drone yet, but with so much innovation packed into such a tiny frame, the real question is, is it worth the upgrade for you, or is the Mini 4 Pro still all you need? Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you want more deep dives, comparisons, and drone content, don't forget to subscribe. The sky, after all, is just the beginning.